It's an educational summer camp for children with special needs, and it's the first of its kind for Guam. Program director for Serenity, Dr. Sam Mabini, explains she got the idea while at a similar summer camp in Florida last year. And uh, upon working with them, upon working with the children for the whole summer, I realized, my goodness, this is something really valuable that families are availing to in the United States. People from all over the world was flying to the camp that we were at. And I said, well, we have a beautiful island, 365 days a year, sunny, warm water. Perhaps this is the place where they should be going. And our families here would probably would really benefit from, uh, from the program. It's only a pilot project, says Mabini, but so far it's been very well received by the families on Guam and the community. Mabini says partners like Nico Hotel and the Guam Regional Medical City immediately jumped on board when she reached out to them for support. While it took some planning, Mabini was able to recruit some of the women she worked with in Florida to make the move out to Guam for this special project. Serenity teachers Shelby Hodge and Mariah Jenna. It's very rewarding, you know, just um, working with the kids, especially day after day. You see them progress and um, reach like personal goals they have, and it's very rewarding, especially with kids. I mean, that's probably the the reason that brought me into working with kids is because it's a whole family model. You get to help not only them but also their family learn the things that need to be done to help them. So that's exactly why I chose to do this. Usually, camps are uh, one person to maybe a number of children, whereas this one because because of the nature of who we are working with and we want to make it special for the child that uh, they have that one-to-one, -one, sometimes even two-to-one uh, attention that they deserve. Like today. Too. Like today. Serenity teacher Caroline Van Zant says she enjoys working with children with special needs. Today, she explains the progress one of her students has made over the last few weeks because of this summer camp. So what we've been working on with him um, this week is kind of getting him more comfortable in the water. Um, so he, we started out in the small pool and we kind of moved over to the shallower end of the steps and working on getting him comfortable using goggles, which when we first came he like didn't like the goggles at all and now he's underwater.